my name is Manders and I'm the shelter care manager here at Seattle Humane. And you may be wondering, why does this kitten look a little bit wet? And the reason for that is that kitten got a bit of a lime dipped bath today to help prevent him from possibly catching ringworm. Ringworm sounds a lot like it's going to be a worm and it's gonna be really gross, right? Well, that's kind of a misnomer. Ringworm is actually a fungus it's a little spore that exists everywhere in the environment outside. And unfortunately, your pets at home and yourself could get it. In humans, it does present as a ring of scabby, itchy skin. But on a cat or a dog, it might just be a scaly patch of fur loss. They might be itching and irritating that space a little more, but it's not really a worm. Remember, it's a fungus. Now, Ringworm doesn't sound like that big of a deal, right? It just really impacts their skin and makes them a bit itchy. But in shelters across the US, if an animal comes in with ringworm, it could be a euthanasia decision. And the reason behind that is because it is really difficult to treat ringworm in a shelter environment. These tiny spores can get stuck on the animal's fur and as the animal sheds, those spores fall to the ground and get whisked around the shelter, which means that it's really easy if the shelter doesn't have good isolation protocols that it could spread through the whole shelter and every animal could potentially get ringworm. Now we're really lucky here at Seattle Humane. We've got amazing isolation protocols. We've got really good use of personal protective equipment like gloves, jumpsuits, gowns and we work really hard to make sure that ringworm stays in place so we can treat it aggressively through the use of Lyme dip and antifungal medication. So the Lyme dip is an yellow, it's a yellow substance and it smells very strongly of rotten eggs. Um, it is nobody's favorite bath time but it really does and we coat the whole cat so we soak them all the way down to their skin for their fur and then we very gently take a sponge or a rag soaked in lime dip and we gently wipe down their face as well. Ringworm really likes to hover and live in dark kind of moist spots so between the toes is really common along the nose and in the ears is a place where ringworm will thrive. We've got to really soak those places. So we are really proud to say that if ringworm does happen here we can treat it and that animal gets to go on and live a wonderful life and maybe develop a fondness of warm baths. Who knows? I think Merlin here would agree though that a little bit of lime dip is worth a lifetime of love. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs>